Coach Dixon, you're a road warrior this weekend. Yes, so I First am. off, what is, what is the schedule? Give me the travel schedule real quick. I uh, flew into Columbus yesterday. I'm here at uh, Liberty High School, and I'm going to uh, Journeyman uh, tomorrow for that exciting tournament. So. It's recruiting season. It is recruiting season. October's pretty busy. Okay, let's talk combine. This combine here, they got, they got a, it's a ton of kids here. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're, they're in the 90s, I think. 90, maybe 100. Yeah. Yeah. When you look at an, you know, an event like this coming to it, what are you getting out of, you know, seeing kids, seeing them in the wrestling room as opposed to the gym where they're competing in a single? What are you getting out of this? Uh, practice is always a good environment because you can actually see what the work ethic is like, and obviously that's what you want to do. Uh, in college, you only get 16 days to compete. You're going to be practicing a lot more than what you're actually going to be competing. So, you know, you got to love to train. you got to love to work out. And if um, you, you want to see how kids adapt to that environment, you know, so they're kind of – putting through different things and it's just good to see kids that love to train love to work out you guys love to train you love to work out i've seen some of the stuff that uh you know joe williamson did with you mark bader's done with you and, uh, no no fists open hands only you know what i'm talking about right and you guys you know all that hard work you guys have put in you're at the critical tipping point two all-americans last year i think you know jack obviously is right there he's a top three guy he was an all-american last year he's fourth the year before but you look at that, you're right at the tipping point. You're knocking on the door at the MAC tournament last year, second to Mizzou. You're right there, Coach. What does what Old Dominion have to do to be the top 10 team, knocked on the door in the MAC and be the team? What do you guys got to do? Uh, we just got to kind of break through and get it done. You know, um, last year was the first time in 20 some years that we've had multiple guys play. So it's, it's baby steps. It's not necessarily as quickly as we'd like it to happen. But, you know, this upcoming year, we'd like to have three, four, or five All Americans. I certainly think we have that uh, capability in our room, but it's just we got to go out and actually get it done. You know, you can talk about it, you can be about it, but at some point you got to step on the mat and actually line up and just go out and do it. So. Obviously, I, we know Jack and All American. You got Lenny back, you got Makati back, you got uh, Jeske back. I think those guys right there. When you say multiple four, five All American guys, I just named them off right there. And some other guys who are knocking on the door. Who are you guys looking for breakouts from? Who are you looking to, to break out? Put ODU in the top ten, and who, who are the breakout guys? I named the, the known, right, the, the right. usual those, suspects, those, those right? Are the known commodities, but, you know, I mean, 33, we're, we got two tough kids, Michael Hayes. And, uh, he hasn't quite put it together for a full season, but he's certainly very capable of doing very well at the national tournament. We got a uh, redshirt freshman, uh, Emilio Saavedra, who those two are going to have to battle out for 133, you know, so that's going to be an exciting battle all year. Uh, at 57, we kind of have a uh, plethora of guys. Uh, Austin Eads, who, when he wrestled uh, Isaiah Martinez at Midlands, he was up 7-8-2 on uh, Martinez uh, before he tore his ACL. So he certainly has a lot of ability. You know, Devin Gagan, he's a fifth-year senior. He's a JUCO runner-up a few years ago. You know, he's uh, wrestled for us uh, mul in multiple weeks at 165, 157. He's done some good things for us. You know, we have transfer Terrell Forbes from the Citadel. You know, he's doing good things at 165. We got a true freshman, Selvin Wright, who, you know, so far he's, he's been doing very well, but obviously we got to see what happens in competition. Uh, Brooks Clemens is a transfer for us, you know, from Oklahoma. Uh, he's dropping down a week, so we, we think some good things can happen with him. He certainly has a lot of ability, um, and, you know, we, we think he's finally at the right spot, and he, he's in a good situation for us. You know, when you try and push him up to, to uh, maybe – Replace Beasley, or are you going to drop him down? Uh, we're dropping him down to 174, and they're okay. old 174 pounder Austin Coburn. We're actually moving him up to 197 to replace to, Beasley. To, okay. All right. so, I was wondering what the Beasley yeah, yeah, that, was. was. That, that, uh, that's kind of what happened there. So, you know, our, our, our weights it's looking like it's going to be Clemens in the jacket 84, and then um, uh, Coburn at 197, and then heavyweight. You know, we got a bunch of young guys in heavyweight, so we're trying to figure out what happens there. So, that, those, those are the known suspects. The known suspects we know. But those guys got to, someone's got to bust through. Correct. And, you know, we've got some other freshmen that I, I didn't mention, but we, we got people that are working hard in the room. And, I mean, I've actually had to tell some of the freshmen, take today off. So that, that's a good thing from a coach when you're telling people, chill out today. You, you're putting in a number of workouts. You know, I mean, we got kids that will leave the office 8 o'clock at night. And their kids come in there for additional workouts, trying to get better. So that, that, that's a good environment to be in. We, we From 1 to 32 on our team, this is probably one of the better teams we've had. Can one of those guys win the title for you this year? Absolutely. We have multiple people that can do that. So um, it's, you know, obviously stay away from injuries, knock on wood, none of that happens. But uh, we, they have the ability, they have the drive, so it's obviously just making sure it happens in March. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? Go Monarchs.
safe travels tomorrow to Journeyman. Thank you.